Hey guys, what's up? It's Monk Ozunky. So I had an idea uh, to do some DPS testing uh, with the three combat styles and see which is the best for DPS. Um, there have been a ton of arguments over this ever since the Evolution of Combat came out. Most people's opinion seems to be that um, Drygors are the best DPS unless you have Seismics. Most people do not have Seismics. I do not have Seismics, so I was not able to test them. Um, however, for my testing, I imagine Seismics would be the best DPS. If I ever get myself a pair of them, I will test for you. Um, but if you are interested in this kind of videos, let me know and I will do more in the future. Um, I did do testing at KBD. Um, I tested Drygors versus Ascensions versus Chaotic Staff. You might be thinking, Chaotic Staff, that's only a level 80 weapon. Drygors and Ascensions are level 90. Chaotic Staff will get blown away, huh? Not exactly. So uh, you might be a bit surprised about what you see in this video. Uh, just keep in mind that um, these are my tests. You might not get the exact same results. So yeah, try not to um, state your opinions unless you have actually tested these yourself. I also am testing these against KBD, uh, which has pretty low life points, but he does have enough life points to get up to a uh, ultimate ability and use a fair few. Um, I also did some testing between uh, ultimate abilities versus using using thresholds and kind of lower hit point bosses. So this might be useful information to use at like QBD or bosses where you could either use an ultimate or thresholds most of the time. Um, but anyway, I do got to say that the idea of testing this out at QB, or KBD was kind of um, given to me by another YouTuber, RS Shortvids. I will leave a link to his channel in the description, although I probably doubt he even knows who I am. But I was just watching one of his testing videos, and that's where I got the idea to make the QB, the testing at the KBD. So, of course, I have to credit him for that. But anyway, um, we're going to move on into the video and show you guys the results that I got. And yeah, um, some of you may be surprised with how this turned out. Uh, I'll just give a hint here and say melee might not dominate as much as you guys think. Okay, so now we're getting into the KBD kills themselves. Um, I start off with magic because, as you may have guessed, it was the slowest, but not by much. So, uh, melee and range with the level 90 weapons were faster than Chaotic Staff, but only by a couple of seconds, which kind of surprised me, because Chaotic Staff is pretty darn good. I did already know that magic is better DPS than um, range and mage of the same tier. I think that's pretty commonly known knowledge, but still, I didn't know it was nearly as good as uh, ascensions and dragors so that was kind of shocking ascension and dragors are still better just not by a lot um but anyway one thing i do got to say is um sunshine and death swiftness did not work very well here those abilities last for 10 seconds longer than zerk for melee for example but they don't give as much bonus they give 50 percent extra damage instead of 100 uh, percent extra damage so yeah they aren't quite as good here mostly just because you can't take full advantage of the the sun su sunshine or death swiftness because kbd dies about 15 to 20 seconds after you activate your ultimate so you can't really take full effect of the sunshine and death swiftness so i will have to test this on different bosses with the same sort of style if you guys have any um, suggestions for what bosses or what monsters you would like to see tests on and what those tests would be like if you wanted to see ascensions versus drygors or drygors versus chaotic staff on a certain monster um, i mean obviously i can't test seismics but i can test just about anything else um, so yeah th we're going to the magic threshold now which was forty seconds um, the magic i do have all the times up on the screen the magic sunshine was forty three seconds um, so the magic with sunshine was the slowest out of all the kills which i kind of expected it would be um, but it was almost about exactly the same speed as uh... range with ascensions with death swiftness so that was a bit interesting the ne next we go into melee so melee was Zerk um, activated was a 38 second kill. With the melee ones, I did several kills for the magic and range. I only did two kills for each style. And with the melee like Zerk, I did about 10 kills with it, and they're all like exactly the same speed. They are all 38 seconds, and one was 39 seconds. So I thought there's no point in testing these over and over again if they're all going to be the same speed. Um, so for all the range and magic kills, I only did two. Uh, two KBD kills per style. So I did two kills with thresholds and then two kills with uh, death swiftness and um, sunshine and they're all just about the same speed so that's kind of what I calculated this with uh, but yeah melee with Zerk uh, was pretty good. Um, you still get a few seconds left over of Zerk after KBD dies so it's a bit of waste and I obviously was using revolution for all of these um, for the basics at least I was because that just makes it a little bit more fair you know the revolution uses the abilities all at the same speed so it's going to be more exact using that than just spamming with your fingers um, and the next was melee with thresholds using assault and destroy obviously because they're the best thresholds for dual wield um, for DPS at least 
and the melee thresholds was a 37 second on average speed kill. Um, so that's one second faster on average than Zerk, but again, just you know, take into account you can't take full advantage of the Zerk. And this guy did come in during this kill, but he didn't do any damage, so it didn't affect uh, the speed of the kill at all. So that's okay. Um, but yeah, it does. you don't get full effect of the Zerk, so just keep that in mind. Um, Zerk might be better if KBD had a little bit more HP. That remains to be seen. And the next was range with Death Swiftness. So this was, again, it kind of failed just like the Sunshine. This was 42 seconds with Ascension Crossbows. Um, so yeah, you, again, you can't take full advantage of the Death Swiftness, so that might be why. Um, if KBD had more health, like if you could fight him for another 15 or 20 seconds before he died, um, Death Swiftness and Sunshine might work out to be better, because those abilities are awesome at Armadil um, and bosses like that, where you can use your thresholds while you're in Sunshine or Death Swiftness. Th those are just crazy damage, so those are really good there. Even though Death Swiftness and... Uh, rapid fire don't work together very well but i'll not talk about that in this video they're kind of broken still jagged still hasn't fixed those two abilities and how they work and the range thresholds you might be surprised but same speed as ma uh, melee thresholds so yeah um using rapid fire and uh what was it snapshot whatever the shot w the ability where you sh fire two arrows at once um, it was exactly the same speed, and I did a few kills with this, so yeah, I did fully test this out just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. But yeah, range with essentials in in at least a straight-out DPS competition where you're not using any ultimates is exactly the same as uh, using melee with thresholds with Dragors. So that might shock some of you. Um, I'm sure some of you are probably going to say, oh no, melee is better, but you know, I, I'm willing to test this out more if you'd like. Um, at whatever boss of you're choosing, and uh, we'll try to get a final ultimate result on what is truly the best and what you should be using. But anyway, thanks for watching this video, and farewell.